Welcome to First Launch and the 2018-2019 First Tech Challenge game, Rover Ruckus, presented by Qualcomm. A team consists of two driver operators, a coach, and a robotic rover. The robot must be built from materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing tool, but may expand after the match begins. And, for this year, must weigh no more than 42 pounds. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Your partner for one match may be your opponent for another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. Two alliance neutral craters sit in opposite corners of the playing field and two alliance specific depots are in the other corners. Navigation targets are placed in the center of each field wall. Four sampling fields contain minerals, two silver spheres, and one gold cube, which are randomly lined up in front of each corner. Fifty-two silver and eighty-six gold minerals are divided roughly evenly and placed in each crater. The lander sits in the center of the field with alliance-specific landing zones marked by red and blue tape. Red and blue alliance stations are taped off on opposite sides of the field, including the scoring referee stations. Prior to the start of the match, robots may be latched onto the lander. Robots that cannot be latched must start in the alliance's landing zone. Robots may also be preloaded with a team marker. Teams may be as creative as they would like with their marker designs. Field personnel will randomize the minerals in the sampling fields, then the match is ready to start. Each match begins with a 30 second autonomous period. During this period, there are a number of ways for teams to score, using only pre-programmed instructions and sensor inputs. Robots that land on the playing field earn a landing bonus of 30 points. Robots that start in the landing zone are still eligible to play, but will not receive the landing bonus. Robots may use the four unique navigation targets to help orient themselves on the field. Robots claim their depot by placing their team marker in it for a claiming bonus of 15 points. If their alliance partner also places their marker in the depot, it is considered completely claimed and is protected through the remainder of the match. Robots that successfully move the gold mineral completely off of its starting location in the sampling field earn a sampling bonus of 25 points. But if a silver mineral also moves, your alliance loses that bonus. And finally, robots that successfully park in any of the craters will earn a parking bonus of 10 points. Following the autonomous period is the two-minute driver-controlled period. There are a number of ways to score points. Each mineral placed into an alliance's depot earns two points. Be careful, however, if the depot is not completely claimed, an opposing alliance may descore your minerals. Robots that successfully place silver minerals into the silver cargo hold earn five points each for their alliance. Robots that place gold minerals into the gold cargo hold also earn five points each for their alliance but placing minerals into the incorrect cargo hold will not earn any points. The last 30 seconds of the driver controlled period is the end game. During this time, robots may continue scoring minerals and they may also earn bonus points. Robots that park partially in a crater will earn 15 points. However, if they go completely into the crater, they earn 25 points for their alliance. A robot that is deployed from the lander during the match and latches back on during the end game, lifting off of the playing field, will earn 50 points for their alliance. There are many ways to score in Rover Ruckus, but there are also rules that if not followed will award points to your opponents. For example, robots may not launch minerals into the lander from outside of the alliance's landing zone. Robots may not block access to the lander. A robot may not control more than two minerals at a time unless the minerals are in the crater. 
and parts may not be deliberately detached from robots during a match. This has been a brief summary of the Rover Ruckus game. For complete rules, please read the entire game manual and remember to check the Q&A forum. Don't forget the most important rule of the First Tech Challenge, gracious professionalism. Good luck teams and have a great season.